Okay, we have a bit of a change of plans. Last night with the brush fire, we backtracked and drove 30, 40 minutes. There's a bunny. And this morning we woke up, it is very windy and rainy and just kind of gross. Let me just backtrack and fill in a couple gaps. So you guys have been walking since the Pampas, it's been very windy. And even down here you can tell the seasonal winds are really strong right now. And as we were looking on iOverlander to the south of where we parked up, there were some little warning signs saying that the sands drift over the road and you required a 4x4. So it's super windy. So, yeah, it just makes a lot of sense to spin around. Yeah, we're kind of afraid the road south is probably blocked by sand dunes. We could have drove down there and saw for ourselves, but with the backtracking, we're going to go around. So we have a bit of a drive, but don't worry. We will be getting back to the coast because we still have to try to find the elephant seals. Sawdust and windshield wipers. Yeah, we need a windshield wiper. <laughs> well, we need two, but one of them is going bad. And we need sawdust for the composting toilet. So on our drive day, we have some errands. Let's go. That little piece is from our windshield wipers. Flopping in the wind. That just went high on the list, huh, Kurt? <laughs> We've had to stop here on the side of the road because we have spotted two of these giant jackrabbits. Uh, jackrabbit. uh, it's fixing to say, we don't know their official name, but uh, that's what we've been calling them. And they're huge. I don't think these are rabbits. What do you think they are? I don't know. They need to move. I thought I saw giant bunny ears. Well. We found something on the side of the road that was worthy of stopping and videoing. I think they're fox. No, when it ran, it hopped. And one in behind is a fox. Oh, you think there's two things out there. Gee, you want to get out and get the bunny fox? He says no. All right, guys. I don't know what these are. They are definitely not rabbits. They walk on all four legs. They got little pointy ears, but not quite as tall as the jackrabbits. They got a white stripe on their butt. I don't know if they're like little deer. I think they're little rodents. I just can't quite tell what they are. But they're definitely out there picking around for some food. Kurt has Googled, what is the verdict? It's a Patagonia Mara. And so it's a relatively large rodent. It is also known as the Patagonia cabbie. It's herbivorous, somewhat rabbit-like, and they're found here. There you go. That's what it is. All right. Giant rodents. That look like rabbits. Let's hit the road again. Kurt has his hands full right now. It is windy out there, guys, whipping across these plains or pampas or whatever they're called. Uh, the cow fields, the dust is kicking up in the wind. It's a two hands on the wheel kind of day for sure. Looks like we have success. Let's see. Come on. Fit. Fit. Oh no. Maybe we don't have success. 
the joys of taking a vehicle from the United States. Oh, I think we got it. To foreign countries. All right. Nice job, Curdy. Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> This is going to be good. We'll be able to see again. Next, maybe we can find some sawdust. So we've got the new windshield wipers. That is one thing checked off the list. The other thing that's on the list is we need more sawdust for our composting toilet. The best place to find that is if we can find a cabinet maker's shop. It's usually hit or miss and we have to drive around a little bit and look for one. There was one on the Google maps here in this town and we're headed there to be honest those rarely work out but it was so close we're going to try if that doesn't work out then it's just keeping our eyes peeled for passing a sawmill or a cabinet shop as we drive down the road cross your fingers that's not very important for today but within a couple of days it will go to the top of the list right got to keep that sawdust <laughs> well we found it at Carpinteria, but looks like it's closed. You gonna try it? Yeah, I don't even know where the door is. All right, since we're doing chores, snow's in the back, cleaning up the reverse camera. It gets dusty too. Good job, perfecto! So it is time to get fuel, and we are learning that the farther south we go in Argentina, the more distance there is between gas stations. We have finally found a gas station, and look at the lines. It's because there aren't many gas stations around. We can't skip it and try to go to the next one because we need fuel. So far, we have been in line for 10 minutes. Let's see how long this takes. Kurt's walked inside to stretch his legs. It's been two hours of hard driving for him with the wind. It is incredibly windy down here. And uh, he's gone in to see if he can find something to eat. No luck for me on something to eat. Sometimes these shells have delis in them that have salads. <laughs> oh wow, it's windy. But I'll whip up something in the van. Benefit of traveling in a van kitchen's always with us. Kurt wolfed down his deli sandwich. I made a peanut butter and jelly on healthy bread. Sugar-free jelly, don't worry everybody. Wolfed mine down. We are still in line. We have been in line for 35 minutes. We're getting close though. <laughs> All right, it took us 45 minutes to get fuel. Phew. But snow's at the wheel, we're back driving. We gotta get up close and personal with something really cool that we already showed you guys. But this right here is gonna be the icing on the cake. We gotta try anyway. We gotta do you a little- You never know with the nature. Today is backtracking day. <laughs> so we gotta do a little backtracking. But I think we made the right decision to go ahead get and fuel. get the fuel and come back. There's none out where we're going, so. Anyway, ought to be interesting. For those of you wondering where we are and wanting to keep up with us like that, here it is. So you can see we're going up, we're kind of backtracking. There's going to be a roundabout up here. Then we're headed back over to the beach and down on this peninsula. Now, we don't think there's a camp spot down there. So once we go see this little spot, we'll have to back up a little bit and hopefully find a place to park. Maybe tonight we can be out of the wind. That'd be nice, but <laughs> Okay off to the left right there it had we been able to navigate through that is where we would have come out We backtracked around There's a little scarecrow up there on the mountain. You probably couldn't see that A wild camp spot right there a couple a couple vehicles in there the ocean is a gorgeous blue today. Yes, it is. Look at that. Ah, uh, 
and there are some dunes down here so it looks like hopefully maybe we'll be able to tuck them away but I can tell you there it looks like a lot of cars on the beach up here I mean yeah, a lot of cars yeah. so we'll but go I up think we'll be able to find a place to tuck away and camp out here tonight yep a little bit of a gamble of is it worth it to backtrack back from the gas station back here for this one little spot yes we didn't get to finish our trip down this little Ruta, which I think is Ruta 1. In any event, we're going to go ahead and finish it off right here. And we have another one of these little police control points. And to be honest with you, they are all over on these roads down here. And they are, a lot of them are manned. We've seen some that are abandoned, but a lot of these are manned. And we frequently people see people getting stopped through here. Now I don't know, in some of these also, this might be charging admission out here to this thing. So we're getting pulled over right here for something. We don't know what. Uh, probably gonna pay us, charge us a tourist tax, I bet. Maybe so. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. It looks like possibly a tourist tax, guys. Yeah. And this is, I think, a national park, so that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. Oh, okay, excellent. Nice. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Ciao, thank, Ciao you. thank you. All right, so that turned out to be a very nice stop. Wow. It was a little lady who gave us a recycle bag. You gotta show this. This is awesome. And he all, she also pointed out that there is a, a dump station here for the RVs. And that is all, it looks like they also have water there. They do have water there. And you can see all these look there's a schoolie out there there's a lot of tow behind types of campers and uh just look at the variety guys right look at here. this i think we found an overlander spot <laughs> holy cow and it looks like some of those don't leave <laughs> this might be their home like Coyote Beach in Mexico. Look at this place. Wow. I'm telling you guys, the Argentines know how to have a beach day. Yes, they do. I mean, I don't know if I've seen another culture that brings it any more than the Argentines. They're they always, so organized. They have the big tents and the all the cards, everything. It's, the the hot water for the herba mate. I mean, all the games, umbrellas, tents, towels, everything. It is nuts, and they will come and spend the day on the beach, just like us. And they'll come, and we watch them come, and we watch them go, and we're still there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is a beautiful looking beach, guys. Now, we have a little something we're still looking for. We are out in it. We've gone out past the town. There's one last little sign right there. Maybe this is where it is. There's no other vehicles around. Maybe we'll pop over the hill and they'll be there. But we're, uh, we're exploring. All right, this has dropped down and opened up into another little beach area. So this is on a little sort of bay up in here. So we were kind of like looking out into the ocean before. This is looking back into the bay. You can see some sort of manufacturing plant across the way. People are parked down here on the roads, but we are looking for something particular that we have not yet seen. So we're gonna keep going. It's 
So they've got it blocked off, but it looks like he's moving us closer. Yeah, I see him playing down there in the water. He's oh, moving yeah. Us where we can get closer, so I'm going to go grab the big camera. So this area protects the sea lions. And there's a guy who's moved some cones down. He's let us get a little closer because they've apparently moved down the beach some. Kurt has gone to get the big camera. There's some playing in the water. I would say there's probably 60, 50 or 60 on the shore. And I would say we're probably 80 to 100 yards away from them. These in the water, maybe 60 yards. Oh, they're just adorable guys. So yesterday we showed you from high up on the cliffs the huge colony of sea lions. Today we hope to get you a little closer to them. And here they are, playing and having a fantastic time. as you can. I think they only allow visitors to walk down a little closer to where they stay on the beach. Sounded like maybe only 10 minutes per hour. As soon as we walked up, the 10 minutes started. So we got a good 10 minutes down there. I hope we got some decent footage. It's time to head to the van and go find our camp spot for the night. But I love sea lions. The dreaded no drone sign. <sighs> it's all good because it protects the wildlife. Don't you want to live out your wildest Every chance, and I think we should do 
it all while we can. So follow my lead, pick up your feet and dance. It's never too late to tear out the page. Let's make a change of plans. I wanna take you with me. Where do you wanna go? Imagine the way it could be if life was an open road. Come on and take it. Not every camp spot on this journey is an epic destination, at least not in our opinion. This beach is beautiful and the waters are an amazing blue. But for us, in our style of travel, there are just too many people here and it is a hot, hot day. There is no internet connection here, but a few days ago when I was looking at the weather outlook, I saw that we had an exceptionally hot day coming. And this must be it. The thermostat in the van says 107 degrees. It's just too hot, too crowded. And although the water is a pretty blue, we are gonna end our video here. We're getting on the road. We're gonna drive through the heat of the day so we can run the air conditioner non-stop. And we're headed to our next campsite. And that is where we will see you guys in a few days. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.